Right, if I can get a fucking say, because the creator God's being malicious, causing this fucking twisted fucking animal to tell me to fuck people that rape me as a child, telling me I'm a sick cunt, you're being knife dead, you're having your life taken apart, doing stupid fucking whistles or making stupid sounds, or being absolutely fucking outright fucking malice. Well, if I can get through all that fucking shit, I can tell you what I fucking want to say on air, can't I? Well, firstly, it's a blue sky sunny day, and I've noticed that they just caused the sun to go in while I'm doing the recording to try and disguise it like they've done with all the fucking photographs that I've taken today because I've taken a load of photographs of set uh, yesterday, sorry for photographs of yesterday and all the setups and they were deliberately causing it to be causing the clouds going for like three seconds in the, only in the time period I take a picture of the, the setups or whatever to make it look like it's a cloudy day when it's not when in fact it's sunny well I've got some very, very Fucking bad news. Really fucking bad news. A clairvoyant reading is one of them. And I've had a phone call from the place where I've got my stuff stored. I've got a garage that I store my stuff in. And uh, I've had a phone call and uh, the lady that phoned me up says, we've got something very serious we've got to tell you. you uh, you're going to have to come here and we might have to come and speak to you. Right? And then she said, because it might might mean that you might have to call the police or contact the police for a specific issue so i thought yeah i know what's going on there so i'm not very happy because all my music uh, all my documentation my family photos and everything that i own is actually in, in there because i had to put it in there for several reasons i won't give these reasons now but i had to put them in i had to put it in there for reasons and also i wanted to uh at the time i, I put it there um, there was also another issue that was going on which was uh, which was quite nasty um, but anyway we'll have to skip that for now because I'm, I'm getting a bit confused of what I need to say I need to get to this story and not get lost trying to describe the other story um, so I've got to go there at some point which I've got to do on a day where I'm not very where I'm sustainable to be put up, you know, to put up with setups nailing me as a sick bastard. Because those setups that are against me and allow bikes time to erections, we're back to 500 a day at the moment to an erection or more. And we've also got the setups which are heavy and aggressive as, as malice as fuck, basically telling me I'm a sick cunt because I won't fancy an old granny on a Zimmer frame and telling me to, that I'm a sick cunt if I don't. But basically, they're telling me I'm a sick cunt if I look at Lisa Pike. That's how nasty and how aggressive they're getting. They're basically telling me to look at a face that looks like someone chucking up with ginger hair and acting in a, like, a way where they look like they're stupid and laughing backwards. So they're doing that at the moment, telling me that I'm supposed to be with that type and just nailing me as absolutely sick, getting absolutely fucking nasty to the fucking core about it. So doing that, why this has happened, is not a very good good suggestion. Many years ago, I got a... Uh, uh, 2006 I think it was I had a load of problems then and uh, I can't say some of the things that happened but uh, it was me that was the victim of these all these all, all problems at that time where it caused me to write bomb Hinkley on the on the ground in chalk or whatever it was I used and uh, I, I got in trouble with the police where I got um I did get arrested for it but I've never written that since obviously because the police warned me about the dangers and told me that you can actually get hit you know you could lose your life over it and said it's better and said out of all crimes that you can possibly do that's the worst thing you can write they said just do it for your own safety and then obviously you'll be all right just don't do it ever again whatever it is anything you do just don't write that basically they said and uh i did tell them the situation um but they were a bit more one-sided back in those days than what they are today but they they saw me as a bit of a sicko at that back in those days even though i wasn't and never had anyone um so um so yeah if we go back to um this so it basically i've got all my stuff there so if i was to get a break in or whatever or i find out that that's been busted i should commit crime graffiti criminal damage for the rest of my days because the problem is i'm not going to accept that i have all my stuff taken away from me and destroyed on the grounds of sexuality because every single threat that I've had in my life or every threat that I've been mistaken for as other people like Savannah and Liam it all goes back to sexuality so it's all, all sexuality and obviously I'm 43 years of age and obviously the only thing that you can do 
obviously Jesus Christ has smashed a knife right in me right through my heart right through the other side and would stake me to the fucking floor basically because his feelings were coming out over me while I was being sexually abused as a child and he stopped me getting anything at all in my whole life and do remember the Christian Bible says that masturbating is a sin that leads to hell before marriage and drinking alcohol can lead to hell if it's not taken in moderation like holy communion and the same with um, committing suicide if you end your life you go straight to hell and that you're supposed to worship Jesus. Well, for two years, I went to the church up to about nine months ago. Nine months ago. So I did all these sorts of, um, you're just being, the things that they mention in churches, you must thank Jesus for this and the way your life's been and the way you've had a girlfriend and the way he's treated you and all the rest of it. Well, how can you pray about that? Because none of these things have happened. You're sort of thinking to yourself, you're sitting there feeling stupid because things that you're trying to pray for that are against you basically because because your life hasn't turned out good like everybody else's if you know what I mean in that way so um not only that but when I've left the church on a Sunday before now it's stuff like animals saying ha ha Jesus Christ has turned ha ha fuck people that raped you as a child ha ha they smash you in and fucking knife you to the fucking floor and some of the voice sounds from these seagulls and dog barks and whatever are as aggressive as anything just like these nasty people that give me threats and just as just as it toned up as well in the way it's being caused so whoever the creator god is or whatever that curse is that's causing these animals to speak in that way is malicious as anything and not only that is it malicious as fuck but um when you push record to audio record it they suddenly come to a stop and then obviously when you push record again uh, as you know it's doing it in a way where you're not getting it recorded basically so we've had that many years. I've mentioned this on previous recordings in the, in the other in the past on in on other videos, especially in 2010 area, I think it was. So anyway, if I find out that I've had a break in there, when I go and visit, whenever I have time to do this, because I don't want to do it straight away, because I need to be in the right mood, or otherwise I'll end up insane. Because uh, what's happened? I mean, all I've asked for in my whole life is a sexy person that I can able to fancy that's not a single parent. That's all. And I can't even get that. And it's taken 43 years and i still not had nothing yet. So, basically, um, the, the problem is, I'm being told I'm a sick cunt if I, I go with anyone, you know, people up to the age of 37, to keep a long story short. I mean, we've had this stuff that I've already mentioned, you know, like, people saying you're a sicko if you don't fancy negative attraction. You've got to be with people that are older and people that raped you as a child by 10, 15 years or more. And then uh, you're good. Or that Jesus is only 33 when he's crucified and you're not supposed to look or read or, or research or do anything to anything that of, of, of a person at that age because of your age. You know, be an age fucking racist like anything nowadays. Yeah, we have this Barbara Windsor, as I was mentioning, and um, the um, uh, Sid James, who are, are famous on the Carry On films, and yet they there was like he, she was 16 and he was in his 50s or 60s. But back then, it wasn't seen as a problem. Anyway, let's get back to what I want to say, shall I? Because um, I'm not a very happy person at this minute in time. But i got a clairvoyant reason I've got to put on here. Yeah. And that's down to the floor. That's fucking rock bottom. The fucking clairvoyant reading. So, it's not, it's not very good. So anyway, just supposing that did occur. I did have a break in and that's what it seems to be. Because it's not, I haven't got these backed up anywhere else. I don't have it at family houses, I don't have it at home. I just decided to slam the place, the stuff there, taking a risk. But, you know, what option do I have? I thought, it's got to go somewhere, because eventually, when I move, or if I want to camp or stay at people's places or whatever, I don't want it being left in the building, you see? So that's why I had to put it in, the, like, a storage place, which is a garage. So, um... So anyway, I've had that phone call. I'm going to assess the situation in a few days. But it's not good because with the setups increasing and much nastier than what they have been lately, it's just going to make things a lot, lot worse. Much more aggressive and much. Uh, and to tell and tell the truth, the threats are on the increase as well. I'm getting roughly 40 threats or more per day, being told that I'm being knifed down, shot dead, smashed in, having my teeth smashed in, injected with whatever, and um, told that I'm a rapist and child rapist and woman beater and woman rapist. So it's, it's, it's getting back nastier and nastier and nastier at the moment. And then obviously I'm being photographed by every other person. Thinking that I'm these people. And they're passing my photo around because people are saying that they've seen a picture of me. And saying that I, my name's Savan when it isn't. So it's all getting nastier at the moment. And then you've got to take into account 2022 is the roughest 
yeah for frets on record and I was being sneezed at 40 to 150 times per day every single day in a way where I couldn't understand why it's happening like that so you know it's, it's getting a lot worse especially since the lockdown so yeah if I find out there has been a break in there'd be criminal damage I'd be shouting there'd be a lot of aggressive behavior and there's a likelihood in if uh, it gets too much I should probably end my life but uh, and if Jesus Christ puts me in hell because I've broken one of his sins then that just shows how fucking cruel he is if Jesus really is God or God's son and the other thing is I have to drink because I have nothing else in life this minute in time I'm actually on the floor lying down looking forward to my drinking alcohol in the evenings because I'm so low because there's never any good days and I've been like that for the last 10 years where I just felt this low but there's nothing you can do about it nobody's nobody's gonna help you you see and this is why I don't have a partner I mean that would be a minimal I mean I said in one of the videos that I did a few days ago just over a few days ago I said there's only two things that I'll, um, I'll stop my drinking for and that's one I'll have to have a partner that I'm able to fancy who's sexy and I basically said it doesn't matter if this lady or whoever's a stale piece of shit as long as she's sexy enough to have sex with like smooth skin like everybody else has had basically because with this 37 year old nailing me as a sick cunt because of my age because I'm 43, that's actually saying that everyone who's lost virginity or had sex with someone under the age of 37 in the whole world, that makes everybody on earth, on planet earth, a sick paedophile and rapist and sick cunt or whatever, because it's not um, above the age of 40. So bear that in mind as well when I'm getting these threats. And then you've got to take into account that recently I've had teenage single mothers nail me as a sick cunt, yet they've had sex and us only in their teens. So yeah, it's not good, is it? And, uh, you know, they're doing it not just because... Because they don't think I'm Savan, basically. You don't have to look at them. You just... Or, or whatever. They, they just start out of no reason at all. But anyway, let's get to the clairvoyant reading, I guess. Because, um, you know... Whatever... What a clairvoyant re reading's down to the floor. Um, she reckons that I'm going to be moving. So she says it's going to be happening definitely next year. She said she doesn't know what time of next year, but she reckons that there's definitely going to be a move. She says it was probably unlikely to be this year. So yeah, they're probably right. But um, she said there's going to be a lot of difficulties when I do move. She believes that there's going to be... Um, uh, you, you're just going to have a lot of problems, a lot of um, cruel force against you, or you could get a bit of trouble from people or whatever. She just said there's in the process of me moving from where I am now, to my new place when I move. She just thinks that there's gonna be a lot of um, a lot of obstacles, a lot of force around me. She said it's gonna annoy you quite a lot. She just she said, you're just gonna to have to put up with it and accept it. And obviously, with all these problems, and if I find out I've had a break in at that place, and I've lost all my stuff, then obviously I'm not gonna be acceptable to the problems. This is what I mean. I'm not willing to take it anymore. I don't want to retaliate because it's sexuality. I mean, if I had sex in my life properly, and I wasn't being nailed as a sick cunt by everybody, then maybe I could take it a little bit nicer. But when it contains my stuff going as well, if that's the case, I don't 100% know that's the case, but what she said on the phone is that they need to see me does not make a very good suggestion. I put the phone down because I wasn't very happy. So, um, yeah, so anyway, the clairvoyant said when I do move, it's going to be quite negative, you know, sort of through in the process of moving. You could get a few issues and it could be a bit unsettled. So. And that's not something to look forward to, I tell you that. And uh, if I lose my temper, then, well, that's because people have drove me to it and because of these corrupt setups and force around me. Anyway, let's get to the next stage. She does believe that when I move, it's not going to be 100%. She said it, w it, it won't be these day this day and age. She said, but at least you'll have a different place to go to and that you won't be in a supported place where you've got um, people around you which you prefer to be on your own sort of thing. She said, obviously, it might not be the happiest of places, you know, once I have moved, as, as I just said. But she said, if you keep yourself to yourself, uh, you know, try and avoid all the trouble if you best you can. Uh, maybe things will improve. Maybe you want to think about decorating the house or think about doing things with inside the house. You know, she says, because you don't really want to get involved with negative people because all sorts of things can happen, like break-ins, being attacked and whatever else. Now, I'm rewording this my way, but this is what she is saying. So she, she, she did say it's quite negative, you know. Anyway, once we get past that, um, 
So, uh, you know, because I don't know what's going to happen, but obviously, you know, you can get a swap or an exchange, though the likelihood is if things are this bad and I did get a break and all, all the other things are increasing and all the rest of it, what I'd probably do is get all my documentation of all the problems I've been through all my life or for the last half a life or, or some part of the life, you know, deep depression years from 2002 onwards is what I call it. But it didn't go into a digital form until 2006. And then I did the deep depression life story packs and put it in a uh, computerised way on a, in a data format. Which contains photographs, audio recordings, animal voice recordings, threats, photographs of people, photographs of setups, photographs of people that want to kill me, information about people wanting to kill me, stuff I write down when I'm walking around in the street, and basically stuff like that but just a section between 2006 and now. However, I have lost a massive amount as well due to computer crashes, data fuck-ups, and losing a disk that contains some information on there. So, But I do still have a massive chunk of it to confirm the evidence and to confirm the stories of the problems that I've had. But there's also been a lot that I stated on the internet that I've failed to state on them. Um, uh, word pad as well which means there's a lot of information loss in that way as well but anyway I was thinking of posting the, this information to governments around the world or places which like conspiracy theorists just before I take my life if I have to because of my life gets so low that I've given up on living so that would be my next plan if it gets if my life gets any worse um, like you know no girlfriend and life worsens when I move in fact in fact if I move the first problem that occurs when I move, I should be looking at doing that straight away because I'm not going to take it anymore. So anyway, it gets better because uh, I don't quite know what she means by this. She just said that there's going to be a few sorrows in the future. Um, basically, there could be a family fallout straight after. Um, no, she didn't word it like that because she's not allowed to, but she basically said that in some form so I couldn't really make out what she was saying because of the way she was saying it but that's if I say if I just say what I just said you know the sorrows and fallout or whatever that's the easiest way to describe uh, what she's saying so uh, she doesn't believe there's going to be um, a girlfriend and uh, she doesn't believe that there will be any chance of a girlfriend she sort of drew, drew a blank on that I didn't really ask the question, but she says she doesn't believe that, um, she, well, she, th she thinks the days have ended for having relationships, but she's also made a big, big mistake as well, because she thinks I've been in a sexual relationship and she thinks that I have two children, which is a load of bullshit, because I've never had anyone. But she believes that, um, she thinks that, so whatever's telling her, the spirit or whoever's telling her, is either twisting that bit of information or she's made a bit of a boo-boo. But, uh, as I said, th th all these problems are because of sexuality and I've not had, had anyone yet. And to, just to add to all this, uh, she did give a few other negative pieces of information as well. I can't remember what it was, top of my head. But, um, and obviously walking down here today, it's just a load of crow sounds, bird sounds. Obviously I'm speaking normal at the moment and made no suggestive noises since I've been doing this recording. But I've been saying stuff like, you know, all the negative stuff like, you're being knife dead, you're a child rapist, or you're having your legs and uh, you're having your throat broken or your neck broken, or you know, stuff that's coming out from seagulls are saying this and that. It's absolutely nasty, bitter, malicious, and outright fucking nasty. Anyway, if you, I did this, did this recording initially, but I lost my temper over it, so I've had to redo this recording from start to finish because of my mood and how I was uh, got caught and uh, had an argument with someone. But that's because the issue's been bad, you know. So I explained the situation, keeping my cool. And uh, I will fi finally say one other thing. It's the 29th today of the 9th, 2023. And it's been sunny with blue skies again. So there hasn't been any um, cloudy days since the 17th of September. And this year has been sunnier than what it was in 2022. 2022 had a lot of sun, but it also had a lot of torrential rainstorms. But it was cooler as well. It's already 12 degrees hotter today than what it was this day last year. Uh, my room temperature is 26.5 degrees Celsius. But that's because of the sun. It hasn't been below, apart from about a week ago, for two days... 
the temperature in my room hasn't been below 25 Celsius since uh, March. Yeah, March 23, somewhere around there. So, so that's that. Obviously, I'm not the happiest person. And, you know, you're thinking to yourself, back to the story that I was mentioning the other day. So, you know, you're already in like a situation where you don't feel like living. And you're thinking to yourself, well, you might as well end it. And obviously, the, you know, the Bible says you go hell if you do these things. But what option you've got? I mean, masturbating, for example. You go to hell for masturbating before marriage. Why hadn't Jesus found me anybody then? You know, if uh, Jesus forbids that. And after being sexually molested as a child, you should be entitled to something. But no, 43 and I'm still not allowed nothing. And obviously, people my age are homosexual attraction, and I don't take to that even in a female, because females have that male look today because people are more serious looking in the face than what they used to be many years ago. and got that dry and sarcastic chasm look for literally most people, and actually most people in this area are not nice anyway, so they never have been, but that's, that's, the, that's the start of the problems. So finding someone's going to be literally impossible. I mean, even these people on YouTube who have rapture dreams, when I messaged them, they got me down as a sick cunt, and these are getting direct messages from Jesus Christ or allegedly allegedly getting information from Jesus Christ so yeah that's the best it gets the next thing is I can't take any pictures of anything like old street letters anymore because they're taking them all down and there's no cloudy days to do it anymore it's sunny every day so you're sort of being suppressed by the sun as well you can't go out without setups every single day loud bikes or erections every day threats every day you're thinking to yourself what's the fucking point of living do you know what I mean so you got that, get, get all those problems, and then you think to yourself, well, you got your drink in the evening, you know, you got your alcohol, but I only did a video a few days ago, and they might be banning alcohol in the UK from selling it, making it, drinking it, and whatever. Completely banning it. And you're thinking to yourself, well, if you do that, it's pointless living because you've got nothing else. I mean, sometimes I'm lying on the floor or lying in bed, almost falling asleep or falling asleep, thinking, when's my, when's my drinking time coming? When's my drink? There's nothing else to do in life. You're suppressed. You can't do nothing. You're helpless. You're thinking you're not going to get a girlfriend. You're thinking that you're aging and aging and nothing you can do about it. You've been praying to God over it for the last two years until nine months ago. And all that time is like laughing seagulls, laughing crows, all taking the piss out of you, or people laughing at you in church when you're trying to seriously do. So in the end, I, I, I turned, I thought I'd give up. You know, I thought God's not helping at all. Two years, fully, and I meant I was meaning it. You know, to the heart, you know, actually praying, you know. And it looks like, um, when it comes to religion, uh, God doesn't help, doesn't it? It just looks like he wants to worsen the situation. So it makes you wonder who God is, doesn't it? So yeah. I mean, I've seen these cons uh, videos or rapture dreams where they're saying, oh, someone said, oh, they don't believe Jesus helped in his life or did this or did that. Uh, and they punish this person in hell through a rapture dream or whatever. And I'm thinking to myself about that video that's been on YouTube that's saying that. Well, you're thinking to yourself, yeah, well, it's true. You know, they're not, he's not helping. Especially when things are getting worse and you're getting all these threats and when you're suddenly walking out of church. In the end, after that two years, it got so violent, that was one of the reasons that I left going to the church. But the other reason was because I wasn't, the prayer wasn't doing nothing. It's just things were just getting worse and worse and you've been putting these traps and all these things were like around you, just things just kept going wrong. Whatever you were doing was going wrong, things were breaking, things were doing this. And I thought, no way, you know. So I, I gave up. Anyway, um... So yeah, you can't do all that. Uh, so anyway, the only way my life can change, as I said, because obviously would have to mean stopping the setups, the uh, loud bike to erections, all the threats, all the control force I didn't need to be happy, a quiet area with nobody that's going to cause trouble, guaranteed no, no one will do this, do that. I'd have, well, if that wasn't the case, then it would have to be a sex partner. But a sex partner's not going to be possible, as I told you. There would, no one will accept you. No one will accept people with mental disabilities. They'll only go with people that are rough. They'll only go with people that have got a violent um, attitude or a serious accent. And obviously people that are sexual and they or you are sick. So what options do you have? You answer that one. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Cut the story short. There's a lot more I wanted to add. But uh, I'll let you know if things get worse. I'll let you know if I've had a break in or not as well. And if I have, this will be the starting time of the turn of the biggest mistake ever of the beginning of suicide night thanks for watching